Okay, that's what they're meant to be here. It says, and they can break the rules with a lot of things. It can be about anything you want. All right, look at hearts, flowers, bees, bears, umbrellas. It can be about anything, about the weather. You can use words to tell how things look, feel, sound, smell, or taste. So you're using all of your senses. You can use all those different words to do that. It can have rhythm. All right, rhythm is the beat of a pole, like kind of like in music. All right, so when you're kind of like saying the poem, it might have like a rhythm, like a beat to it as you're saying it. Okay? And a lot of things you can make it into a song. Like when you hear about nursery rhymes, like Jack and Jill, up the hill, to fetch a pail of water, Jack fell, broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling. Okay. So you can kind of make it into almost like a little song because it's got some rhythm and some beat to it. Okay? Because they have the same amount of even syllables as it. Alright, so it has rhythm and they can rhyme, of course. So words that rhyme have the same kindergarten. Be respectful and listen to everything that I'm saying when you're talking and that people can't hear. Okay? So, and they rhyme. Remember we talked about rhyming a lot. They have the same ending sounds like cat, rat, cat, they all rhyme. Okay, so on page 10. On page 10. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the first, where's, where's your workbook? You're not ready. We're going to look at the words. Okay, I'm hoping it opens up for me. Here we go again. Oh, keeps going back. What you're going to do is we're going to look at the first word. We're going to put a check in the box next to the word that rhymes with the very first word that we see. Okay? So listen carefully and watch as I find each of those. Okay. So sorry, Jackie, yeah. because this board, the internet's been a little spotty today. All right. So the first word is fine. F I N E. Do you see it? Put your finger on it. Fine. Do you find it on there? F I N E. Look for it. It's on page ten. Afternoon. Let's put a 
checking the box. In the afternoon, it's kind of like, you know, it's like closer to like after school. Maybe it's getting, you know, like to be dinner time. Um, it's not the evening. Afternoon's a little different. So what do you think? Evening is like nighttime. It's like bedtime. So afternoon. Uh, let's see. I mean, a picture for afternoon. I don't want to say evening, like the afternoon, like later in the day. I don't want to. You can't really. Yeah, afternoon is like after school. So let's see. After school, what do you do? You do we go home and play? Maybe we can draw a picture of you at home, right? Did you guys go home after school? That's a good idea. So let's just draw a picture of you at home. Draw house. Draw a house. Okay, and you're at home in the afternoon. There you go. Because it's not evening time. You can't draw moons and stars and things like that. That's not the best evening. And then maybe you're outside and you're playing, right? Perfect. Yeah. Maybe you're on your bike or something. I don't go on my bike. I go best on it. Hard for me to draw a picture there. But in the afternoon, you're at home. 